A Kate's valve controls flow by maintaining a constant pressure differential across a metered orifice. The simplicity of its design begins with the internal differential regulating valve, the IDRV. It is free to move inside the Kate's valve and is attached with a spring. When fully extended, the IDRV will cover the exit port. When the inlet pressure is applied, the top of the impeller sees the upstream pressure, P1, and is forced down. Subsequently, fluid flows through the metered orifice, resulting in an internal pressure, P2. Further pressure is dropped across the exit orifice, resulting in the discharge pressure, P3. The IDRV is in equilibrium when the upstream pressure is reacted by the internal pressure, plus the force of the spring. If the internal pressure is too low, then the IDRV will move down, decreasing the area of the exit port. This will, in turn, increase the internal pressure. If the internal pressure is too high, then the IDRV will move up, increasing the area of the exit port. This will, in turn, decrease the internal pressure. Thus, the pressure across the impeller, as well as the metered orifice, is maintained to be constant. When the upstream pressure fluctuates, the internal pressure will adjust accordingly. When the downstream pressure fluctuates, the IDRV will adjust the size of the exit port to maintain the internal pressure. The flow rate can be adjusted by changing the area of the metered orifice. This is done through the control knob on the top of the valve. With a Kate's controller, maintain your flow to within 1.5% of the set point, regardless of pressure variation. Just set it and forget it.